Zerondani, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the latest trailer for Miraculous. And honestly, this video is probably going to be less about the episode itself and more in line with what exactly is going to be going on in the future of Miraculous. Uh, I know that's kind of a weird topic to say, but hear me out. So we all know that the latest episode, or we should know, the latest episode trailer is just simply a lot of shots of Marinette and Luca going out. And honestly, that doesn't give us much to work on for what the actual episode is going to be about. And as such, we kind of need to make a lot of uh, guesses, to say the least. But I want to actually bring up something. First off, we see in the first few moments of the trailer that Marinette has the Kwamis out of the box. It's a blink and you'll miss it moment, but while she's on the phone, she just has the Kwamis. They are just all about her. And it leads me to realize that Marinette is a very different guardian than that of Master Fu. And it leads me to think that maybe... That is an important factor of her. She cares about the Kwamis, and as such, she's willing to let them roam around, let them be who they are, to interact with each other, besides just being trapped within the box for who knows how long, until it's time for them to go into battle or whatever, but by letting them roam around, just wandering her room, it lets them just relax. And the only times that she needs to put them away is when somebody is near, which they can just go hide, or, more accurately, when she's going to school. Yes, it means that these Kwamis are going to be stuck in the box for hours on end, but it means that they do have time to just relax, to hang out with each other, and not really have much to worry about. But... Yeah, it's a very different situation from what she's used from what they're used to. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a lot to it and obviously we'll be talking more about that in the future when we are actually looking at these plot synopses. Um, but the point is that we should be getting to is what this episode is. First off, like I said, it is a Luca and Marinette centric episode. But it leads me to think, what exactly is going on here? We see Marinette and Luca almost kissing in near the last few minutes of the trailer, but that leads me to wonder what exactly is this episode? If it was just a relaxing day, that would be cool, but that doesn't sound like miraculous at all. It sounds like there really should be some enemy no matter what it is. Even if it's just for a brief moment and most of the episode is devoted to actual character development and stuff, I think fans would absolutely love that, but I feel like there is going to still be some battle. But what I think is actually happening here is a realization of she cannot be Marinette without being Ladybug. Now, let me explain what exactly I mean. The fact remains that Marinette and Ladybug are not two different people. Yes, they consider each other, uh, she considers herself two different people to an extent. Not actually, but the point remains that people disassociate themselves with their different personalities. Especially if they become a superhero. You don't think Peter Parker is Spider-Man, except for when you actually think that and all that jazz, but what they actually think is Peter and Spider-Man. When Peter is talking about himself when he's talking about Spider-Man, even to people who know who he is as Spider-Man, usually he's just saying Spider-Man. He's talking about Spider-Man. He says the name Spider-Man. Yes, it's in third person, but it's different. Same thing. When Spider-Man, when he's Spider-Man, he talks about Peter Parker as Peter Parker, even when talking to people that know that he's Peter Parker. 
There's a disassociation between the two personalities. And Marinette is going to realize this sooner or later. And when she does, she's going to realize that she needs to be honest with the fact that both sides of her are who she is. And someday she's going to have to work out what exactly she's going to do with that knowledge. And I honestly think that the future of Miraculous is going to hang on that balance. Marinette is going to, over time, realize more and more that she is both Marinette and Ladybug. Yes, absolutely, this episode is going to be, needless to say, insane. <laughs> Dealing with a lot of ideas of her working through this stuff because she keeps on having to leave Luca just as they're about to kiss or whatever. Because, uh-oh, there's an Akuma attack, so she has to run off. Um, the two of them, uh, Luca's just thinking, oh, she's running off to get to safety, this, that, and the other thing. But Marinette is going to have to keep lying to him over and over and over again just to get away to transform into Ladybug. And that can take a toll on you. I think that as she goes through this whole thing and eventually does eventually share her first kiss with Luca, I think she's going to realize something. One, she doesn't love Luca as much as she thinks she does. But two, she doesn't want a relationship built on lies. That's one of the biggest problems that superheroes face in any situation. They don't want their relationship to be built on lies. American Dragon, absolutely, he's when he is talking to, uh, to Rose and all of this stuff, he doesn't want that relationship to be built on lies. With Mary Jane and Peter Parker, Peter doesn't want that relationship to be built on lies. Over and over again, we see this again and again, that these people, they run off to go do their heroing work, but they can't tell their loved ones. And they keep telling themselves that they don't like this. It's not right. Their significant other should know who they are. But she's also realizing that Luca is not that person. And when that solidifies in her mind, she's going to dump him. I'm mostly focusing on Marinette since she is the primary focus of the series. But I think that the same thing is going to be happening with Adrian. Every time that we see Marinette and Luca getting together... We're also going to see another side of the story where Kagama, uh, Kagami and Adrian are going to be working, are going to be together. And they're constantly just going to be thinking something's not right. And eventually, Marinette and Adrian are going to dump them. And they're going to realize that they need someone that they can actually talk to who they can tell who they are, all this jazz. And I think that they're just going to be sitting. I think Marinette is probably going to be the one sitting, sitting, looking at the Eiffel Tower as the sun is setting, a bit just contemplating what she's done. And then Adrian is going to come up to her and say, hey, didn't expect to see you here. The two of them are going to sit together explain what's just happened, that they feel like the relationships weren't working. The fact is that the two of them are friends. Friends first, and while they want to, while both of them want to be in a relationship with each other, even if it's not with the specific version of each other, they do have that relationship aspect. They're friends. And that is is an important aspect. They care for each other. And I think that Marinette would trust Adrian, even if he doesn't want to be in a relationship with her. She would trust him, probably more than even Alia. But 
it's a question to wonder how exactly is this going to work? And honestly, I think that's going to be the last few episodes. Or maybe not the last few episodes, but somewhere together it's going to be a two-parter. First of these episodes is going to be the relationship, the rockiness of the relationships. The second episode is going to be the akumatization. We know that eventually Luka and Kagami are going to get akumatized for a second time, for another time. And through this akumatization, I think that that's going to be the turning point. Marinette and Adrian realize that they need to work together. And they do. The two of them are trapped by Luka and Kagami, who have decided to work together to take down the people that broke their hearts. And even though Marinette and Adrian are worried, they need to save the day, they need to stop the Akumas, Adrian is saying things like, don't worry, Ladybug will save us. And Marinette's just thinking to her, is saying, I don't know, but hopefully Cat Noir will. The two of them start to realize something. The other person is who they've been in love with the entire time. Marinette is realizing that she has to reveal herself to him. Whether he's Cat Noir or not, there is no option anymore. And so the two of them reveal themselves to be Ladybug and Cat Noir, and they fight Luka and Kagami in their new akumatized forms, working together to stop these two who have become something they don't want to be. And <laughs> it's sweet. They realize who each other are, and through working together, they solve this. There are multiple ways that this could go about, and I'm not really certain that the way that I said is the actual way that things are going to go down, but the idea of it still sounds sound to me. Marinette and Adrian are going to fight together to take down Luka and Kagami, and afterwards they're going to talk to them, help them to understand why they did this. Something didn't feel quite right. And now they know why. They don't necessarily have to suggest that Luka and Kagami get together, but honestly, I think that they should at least do something that helps them to realize that they worked great together. Even if they were akumatized, they worked good together. And that is an interesting factor. And afterwards, Marinette and Adrian are going to have a little talk. Now knowing each other's identities, chaos might come for them. They now know who each other are, and if ever there's an, a, a bad situation, something could happen. At which point, Bunnix could come in and explain what happened before. That, yes... Keeping your identities safe is important, but knowing them now is not a problem. This was the moment that you were supposed to know. If either one of you had realized who the other person was beforehand, and were forced to make the decision that you had to step in, Hawk Moth could have figured out who you were, and hurt you both very easily. But by knowing each other's identities, you protect yourselves, and you can help each other move on and work together to make sure that you find the right people who can actually help you in the future. I.e. all of the others. Just a thought for the future. but. What am I to say? <laughs> uh, needless to say, I have tons more theories to talk about in the future. But unfortunately, we're going to have to wait. 
because I have to do a few more showed some love soon. <laughs> But anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and ring that notification bell. And if you do want to support the channel even more, then definitely head down to the description, checking out all of our links down there, including our social medias, our other channels, and ways you can support us financially, including our Patreon, which a big thank you to our current patron, Sheeny, and of course, our merch store, and all that jazz. And of course, if you do have any thoughts or theories, please make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And, of course, if you are going to leave a theory, make sure to say theory review somewhere in your comment. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja, and I will see you guys next time. But on!